the Limes Faro Full Calendar Chronograph. A watch which normally is not on my list, is not completely my style, but this watch really flashed me and I really could think of buying it and add it to my collection. So much was I surprised and so much did I like it. Hello and welcome to WatchMaxi's watch videos. My name is Axel and I'm glad to have you on the show. Well, today it is about a watch which I didn't have on my radar and I wouldn't have picked up if I hadn't had the chance doing these videos. It's the, I'm going to show it to you. It's the Limes Full Calendar Chrono, which is not exactly the watch I'm typically looking for. It's a bit too classical for me with the Roman numbers and the Brigay hands and, and this kind of stuff. So not exactly what I directly would look after. But once I had it in my hands, I was totally flashed and thought, what a great watch, well done, nicely made. And even my wife said, oh, you never had a watch like this. And if you're going to look for a new one, why don't you look for a watch like this? This is something which is completely different to what you usually buy and it, it really looks nice and uh, it fits to you. So that's a statement, isn't it? And now directly to the presentation of the Limes Full Calendar Chronograph. The Limes Faro Full Calendar Chronograph is a very classical watch in a 40.5 millimeter case. And um, personally, I, I don't tend to, to buy classic watches and classical watches in a classical design. But my wife's first comment was, well, that's a great watch and uh, it's got to be your next one, isn't it? I'm not quite sure about that. But on my 17 centimeter wrist, which is six and three quarter of an inch, it looks absolutely great, feels comfortable. It's, it kind of looks like it was made for me. And um, I really, really do like it. It's very comfortable, nicely to wear and uh, yeah, great watch, isn't it? The Limes Faro Full Calendar Chrono has built in an ETA or respectively Valjoux 7751 top grade movement with Geneva stripes, blued screws and let me, yeah, here on the bridges we have also Perlage. The back itself, it's really nicely done and it's a uh, it's a high quality bag, although you rarely see it because you most often look at the front of the watch. The watch has a case diameter of 40.5 mm and a thickness of 14.3 mm. The lug width is 20 mm. I haven't found any data for the lug to lug span, but given that the total case is 40.5, the lugs are rather short. You can see the strap is quite close to the case. I would expect lug to lug being around 48 millimeter or less. Since it's a fully polished case, I didn't want to use my metal tools to measure the case and scratch the watch. Um, it's of mine. I didn't want to do that. Well, actually, I didn't want to do that with mine either. So um, I, I expect it to be a, a comparatively small watch in terms of lug to lug size. The highlight of the watch clearly is the dial and the face. You can see the Clou de Paris, Guilloche pattern as a basic pattern on the face and you also see the sunray guilloche pattern on the counters on the 24 hour display and the running second at the nine o'clock really nicely done all hands including the pointer date the stops uh, time stop second and minute hands as well as the regular hands for hour and minute 
are made and blued in-house at Ickler and the Breguet hands really give the watch a very very classical look. I really do like it. But there is much more to see on the face of the watch on the dial and for that I'm putting on my macro. So what is special about the watch? Well first when my wife saw it uh, she immediately said if you're looking for a watch this is something you haven't got already so feel free to get one if you want it's a really nice watch i like it and it's something completely different and what should i say she's right what do i like in particular first i like the pointer date you see the red half moon pointing at the 17 absolutely great and nicely done i like the full calendar version meaning you have the date the 17th you have the friday and you've got july and you've got a moon face here absolutely nice Further, we've got a 24-hour display, so this is not a GMT or a second time zone, it's just a 24-hour display, which I find extremely helpful with the full calendar movement um, to make sure you're not harming the movement by using the adjustment function during the forbidden time zone. Absolutely nicely done. What, what I like when I look at the dial, my, my first thought when I saw the watch is uh, Roman numbers. I don't like Roman numbers, but they are small. They are not so prominent on the dial. If you look at the watch from, from a little distance, it's, it's okay. It's, it's fine for me, it's okay. What makes the watch absolutely look great in my eyes is the Roman numbers are on a polished ring and then you have the guilloche pattern which is polished and shivers it really makes the watch look totally interesting absolutely nicely done i actually really really do like it and what i further do like is the design of the horns. You can see there is a step on the horns. It's not just simply made. It's a really nice design with sharp edges so you can't cut your skin. But it's not rounded. It's, it's really clean manufactured. Nicely done. So the overall watch is, is really a dress chrono, a, a very classical watch. And um, if I would be going for a watch like this, it would be at the very top of my wish list, I guess. I've got another detail. I'm not quite sure if I get it caught by the camera. No, here we have it. On the minute scale, outside of the brushed Roman number ring, you have the five minute indices with a little round silverish dot. I don't know whether it's actually silver or steel, but it's an applied dot. The markers in between are a grayish color and every fifth, the five minutes just above the Roman numbers are applied metal or silver. Well, I promise to do night shots of the watches I present. The Faro full calendar chronograph is the second from the right. And as you can see, it's pitch black, no luminous power, no color, dark as dark night. So that's what I wanted to show. So what kind of variants do we have? We have this version with the silver dial, and we do have the same one with the black dial. Both versions are at a price tag of 2,680.
80 euro as of April 2020. What other versions does Limes have? Limes has out of the Faro series a watch with a small second no date, a version with a big date and a power reserve indicator, and a watch with a day date indication, both in silver and black. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, share my videos with friends and co-collectors and look forward to the next videos to come. So do I. Cheers, Axel!